Hello, students. I want to talk to you guys and gals today about how we're going to do speed reading. And so the way speed reading is going to go is you're going to read for nine minutes straight. Um, I'm going to give you a chart. I'm going to give you a chart. It took me a minute. I'm going to give you a chart that looks like this. You're going to put uh, your name, my name, the class, the date, and you're going to put the title of your book and how many words per page. Um, I'm going to talk about how to average up how many words per page. And this is what we're going to use to calculate your speed over time. In the last video, I showed you a completed reading chart from last year. This is somebody's reading chart from last year. The purple is the original baseline reading speed. This pink line at the end is their actual reading speed after the activity. They've grown a lot um, in terms of their reading comprehension over time. Hopefully that's stuck. I can ask this person if that's the case because they still go to school here. Um, and that's the goal is that's what I want you to do with this. Now, if you don't have a ton of markers and stuff, that's OK. You can do just like a monochromatic graph. I'm going to send these through Google Classroom. But those of you who want me to send you a paper copy home, I'll even send markers or colored pencils um, for you to kind of graph your reading progress over time. Uh, I'll, I'll do that for you. On top of your chart, whenever I send it home, I want you guys and gals to put the following. Ooh, look at me getting old school. I'm writing on the board. Dang, da, da, dang, da, dang. I'm so excited. I want you to write this is the equation we're going to use. Number of pages read times WPP. This stands for words per page, right? Number of pages read times words per page divided by nine minutes. And that's going to give you ultimately your 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 reading speed. Your reading speed is, and don't judge me, math people. I know times and division. Like this is not how this gets written. I'm an English person. Math across the curriculum, yo. Um, but this will give you um, words per minute. This is your WPM or words per minute. It's like miles per hour, um, but different. And also just a slight note, uh, I always got bad grades for board work in teacher school. So I should have done WPM over here. So it was parallel construction, but sue me. I'm doing this on the fly. There's ice falling outside. I'm gonna get home safe. So number of pages read times words per page, divide by nine, and that will give you your words per minute. And that is how we calculate your speed, your, your reading speed on your graph, um, and how we kind of ultimately are going to calculate it over time. Now, to get these spikes in your reading speed, um, they're going to be a certain series of activities that I'm going to do. I will get into those later. Most students are going to use uh, Fahrenheit 451 uh, that I can provide for you. That is going to have um, 300 words per page. Uh, on average, and that's, and everyone's just reading from that book. And so everyone just kind of has a consistent uh, marker to read by. And we're going to be doing this nine minutes a day um, for about 15 days, maybe maybe more, depending on how we can swing it. Um, we've had to do, you know, there's always interruptions in school and stuff. Remote learners, you could do this. If you can do this for 10 minutes a day, that'd be great. And then just change your calculation. If you can do this longer, then we can actually do it in class. That's great. And again, the key is as you increase your speed, your comprehension goes down. And we're going to do a series of activities where I'm going to tell you to move your eyes faster. I want you to read faster. And it's OK if you don't comprehend what you're reading. Move faster. It's OK if you don't understand what you're reading. Go ahead and give up some of that comprehension. And the reason we do that is over time, as you increase your speed, your brain learns to catch up with uh, that speed. Initially, it can't keep up. When your eyes start moving faster and faster over the page, your comprehension goes down. But over time, uh, your brain learns to catch up. And then that's where you can end up doubling your reading comprehension speed. 
Um, I'm very enthusiastic about this activity. I really enjoy this activity. My students tend to really like this activity, partially because you get to draw on graphs and it's not just writing papers. Um, but this is the this is what we're going to kind of be doing. And again, I'm trying to adapt this for remote learning. I don't know exactly how this will go, and that's okay. That is okay. Okay. It's okay if we don't fully understand how this goes. Um, we're just going to try our best. And I'm trying to be like an enthusiastic cheerleader. Ooh, look. Woo I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, they pay me to not be enthusiastic, but I just am. So let's try to increase our overall reading speed. Even if you increase it a little bit, your homework will be done sooner. And then you can go back to like playing video games or drawing or watching TikTok videos. Why isn't this on TikTok? I don't know. I'm working on it, people. Um, I like you. Be safe. Make smart choices. And I'll talk to you soon.